some of my fondest gaming memories come from playing through the original XCOM Enemy Unknown over and over again. And although I've never been great at the challenging strategic gameplay this genre offers, I have often enjoyed games that stemmed from its heritage, which is why I was so excited to get my hands on Team Junkfish's Attack of the Earthlings. This new addition to the turn-based strategy pool not only feels unique and original in every way, but also offers a genuinely funny narrative that helps take the edge of some seriously hard trial and error gameplay. The first element of Attack of the Earthlings that brings a sense of originality is the fact that you play as the stereotypical enemy, the aliens. This race of aliens, known as Swarmers, have seen their planet invaded by corporate money-hungry company Galactor, whose sole aim is to bleed the planet dry for just about any resource they can find. Not only does this spin on traditional story feel unique in its own right, but playing as this ever-evolving alien race offers some brilliant mechanics that just simply wouldn't be possible playing as human counterparts. The main focus of each level is to prevent your matriarch from being killed, all while progressing further up the corporate tower. Luckily for the matriarch, she doesn't need to progress this tower alone, as with the handy ability to spawn additional aliens, she can build up quite the army. In order to give birth to these new troops, you'll need to acquire biomass, which can be collected by consuming dead bodies, either swarmers or human. As you progress further into the game, you'll be able to upgrade these foot soldiers into more powerful and versatile species of the swarmer race. This self-upgrade system really helps add a new dynamic to some tense situations, with each of the new species offering genuinely different abilities. I often found myself contemplating between how to spend my biomass. Should I bring another troop to the fray, or maybe upgrade to a goliath and take down a higher health enemy? All these decisions can play perfectly into the hands of the player, giving almost complete freedom of how to achieve a level's objective, which leads nicely onto my next point. Almost every objective I was faced with felt unique. That's not to say that some objectives aren't repeated. For example, you will see the objective escape the level on more than one occasion. But what makes these objectives feel different from one another is the way they are delivered. One of my favourite stages was a stealth based level, where you have to successfully control a low level swarm up without being detected. Although this may not sound original in the grand scheme of gaming, it does feel like a breath of fresh air in a genre that too often asks you to just eliminate the threat. So, how do you level up in Attack of the Earthlings? Well, in true Galactoil fashion, you receive a performance review at the end of each stage, where you're rewarded with good old fashioned mutagens. These mutagens can be spent on acquiring new abilities for different swarmer species. What's best about the upgrade system here, or loadout system I should say, is that it can be altered before any mission. The ability to retract points from a certain species and spend them on another one not only promotes experimentation but also allows you to adjust your loadout should you be finding a level challenging, and trust me when I say these levels get pretty challenging. As you'd expect with a game that sits in the same vein as the XCOM series, progressing up the tower soon becomes a pretty hard task. Although some situations you'll find yourself in feel tense and sometimes overwhelming, the game always gives you the tools you need to succeed, and you just need to use them in the right way. An example of this is during a stage where you'll need to protect the matriarch while she breaks down a door. Honestly, I must have failed this section of the level more times than I can count, but going back to the drawing board and adjusting my mutagen distribution allowed me to unlock a distraction technique which made the situation play out in my favour. Before we wrap up this review, we still have to mention the star of Attack of the Earthlings, Mr. Pekka, PA to the boss Mr. Dickerman. As you progress through the levels of the tower, Pekka will often come over the intercom and insult his employees in a witty and sarcastic manner. Level 1. Why is my console saying that the primary motor coil is down? Is this another Steve situation? Come on, man. How many hands do you have to lose before you stop reaching over the rails? Good thing we have the two backups. Keep Steve away from them. I found myself looking forward to these interludes as much as the strategic combat itself. The dark humour here is very dry. When speaking to the developers before the game's release, they spoke about trying to capture the comedic style of the IT crowd, a hilarious British comedy I'd recommend to anyone, which is why I was so happy to see that they have achieved this and to pretty good effect. 
Attack of the Earthlings is brilliant. Not only have developers Team Junkfish managed to create an organic sense of gameplay through consumption and evolution, they've also delivered a narrative where a human hungry alien race actually feel like the victims. Although the levels can get very challenging as you progress up the Galactoil Tower, the ability to build a playstyle to suit you or overcome the levels in a multitude of ways inevitably means success is only around the corner. Attack of the Earthlings is not only one of the funniest games I've played for a long time, but is no doubt one of the finest strategy games I've ever played. To hear more on Attack of the Earthlings, why not check out the Indie Credible Podcast episode 29, where we sit down and chat to Team Junkfish, the developers behind the games themselves. Or to see what indie games we recommend you check out throughout February, why not check out our February hotlist. And for more on indie games, make sure you subscribe and check out indie-credible.com.